right. Luke 21. This is how the so-called Jews, the so-called Jewish people that's living there, the, the Amalek, this is how they came into power. Okay. By this right here. I'm going to cut it. Keep it short. I was taking you the long way so you could get the history, but I'm going to just cut it short real quick. Read that. Luke chapter 21 and verse 20. Bring it out. And when ye shall see Jerusalem. So this is written in red. So this is Christ speaking to the Israelites. He's saying this. Read. Compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is not. Read it from the top again. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with the armies, then know that the desolation thereof is not. So when we were in when we were in Jerusalem, what time period was that? Who was ruling? In Japan. After the Greeks, who who was after the Greeks? The Greeks are only three about three thousand years old. Period. Who was after the Greeks? What 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 empire was after the Greeks? I would say Rome. The Roman, because Christ was in captivity under the Roman captivity. He was, right. he was in captivity under the Romans. Right. So when it says, when you see armies come past, it means the Romans. When you see the Romans coming, read. Then let them which are in Jerusalem, Judea, flee to the mountains. Them that which is in Judea. Judea is in Israel, right? So it says, when you see Jerusalem, when you see the Romans coming to sack, to destroy Jerusalem, I want you to do this. Read that again. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. Flee to the mountains. The mountain was, was talking about the land of Africa. You understand? That's what it was talking about. It was talking about the land of Africa. Because those 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 white people that live in Israel, can they go hide in, in eat can they go hide in um, Africa and blend in with the people? No. Why not? Because those are white people impersonated a nationality of people right so that's why christ told the children of israel go into the land where the people y'all share the same skin complexion y'all will blend in so go there go to go into africa that's how we ended up in africa and when we left read on read on keep keep going and let them which are in the midst of it depart out uh -huh. and let not them that are in the countries enter their into so all the israelites that live outside of jerusalem don't even come back don't come in because jerusalem is about to be conquered by the romans read on for these be the days of vengeance these be the days of what of vengeance of, who? of vengeance these people the so-called the, the the caucasians I don't, that, those people right there, you understand? Those are Amalek. They have, they have a perpetual hatred for the children of Israel. All the nations do, you understand? Because we have the kingdom. We get the kingdom and we keep God's law, statute, commandments. God was only dealing with us. He was only dealing with the children of Israel. He wasn't dealing with no other nation. So these nations knew that. So when the children of Israel left, when they left, Judea and flee to the mountains. The Israelites that didn't leave, they were slain. Do we say that in there? We don't. Yeah, yeah, during 70 AD, with General uh, Pompey and his son Titus. The besiege of Jerusalem. The besiege of Jerusalem. You understand? We were conquered. And a lot of us fled into Africa. Now, when we were conquered, that land was free. It was open now. So they just moved on in. But before that, they didn't get clearance to move into that land until what? 1960 to 64? 48, 1948. Yeah, the Belfort Declaration, where you had the United Nations putting them in there. They took them by arm, a force of arm. Right, so, because so, when they left the Philistines, a lot of nations went in so, there too. So let me ask you this then: if they took it by a force of arm, right? Are the Israel united in Christ? Would you see? Would you say that it would be feasible for us to develop our power? And also ward ourselves against anyone else second, that has second taken on second chronicle, not chronicle, second uh, Corinthians ten. Let's and let's then, understand something the real quick. Is yes, then the answer is, is no. Okay, so so since they took it by arm, what you're saying is we don't need to get our power enough to. to I'm to, about, I'm about to show you something real quick because we are in captivity right now. You think we should pick up guns and go get our land back? Pretty much? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, we have to, if we, if we are 
facing a devil or facing a beast that will take up arms against the innocent. So you said we should take up arms. We should get ourselves powerful enough so that they won't have the power to continue to reign in the way that they have reigned. All right, check would this it out. be wise for us to get ourselves in position I got where you. other people won't be able to take up arms that could put us into slavery? I got you real quick. Read this and then I want you to give me Amos 3 and 3. And all the reason Read why, that. And all the reason why Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. Read. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Meaning our warfare, how we're going to win, is not carnal. We can't physically pick up guns, trying to, trying to get power, trying to go against them. You understand? We can't do that. We, we, we're not in that position. We don't have that power to do that. You understand? Read on. Hold on. Real quick. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. The way we're going to take down the people that's in, in, in Israel, the way America is going to be taken down, is going to be taken down with words in a book. Black words and black words and red words that's in a book. When Christ returns, he's going to be the one to do all of that. Right. We, right now, today, we're not going to do any of that. You understand? I am wearing, right now, a shirt that says Haiti on, on the back of it. Okay. It has 1804 on it. Uh-huh. Haiti, the first black republic that liberated itself from the oppression and the tyranny and the force of white people. And, and, they, and how did they do it? Go ahead, they go ahead. took up arms. Okay. And they see beat them crackers to death. Now, so where, what I'm saying where is, is I where, what position is I Haiti in today? What position is bad. Haiti in today? Where are they today? They are still facing an, an enemy. They an are the poorest country in the world. In the world. You understand? The Why is it? Why? Because they beat the hell out them crackers and the cracker, cracker poles sanctions on them because at one point in time they was the, wealth, the wealthiest nation. So read that and again. So read, read, is, read, read, read this again. Is, read this again. Read it again. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. Read. For the weapons of our warfare. The weapons of what? Of our warfare. Is what? Are not Colonel, you can't pick up physically weapons and go against these people. You understand? They have to be taken down by Christ. We can't do it. You understand? Why are they in the positions today? Because they were defeated. The tribe of Levi. They tried to do it by the, the Haitians. The so-called Haitians today. So why are they paying? Why are they? Why are they in debt right now? They're the poorest country in the world. Because because the European nations rally and said that we cannot let this nation that whooped us, the whooped the, the famous Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay. And sent to, they sent 20,000 troops in the Haitians after that, and the Haitians beat the hell out of all of them. And what happened? And because of that, they made sure that they could never get themselves up economically, and they imposed sanctions for beating those people. So, so wouldn't so when the so-called white men have so, some kind of power to even not even allow them to get back in that position that they're in, that they were in. I would. You, they, those people took it upon themselves to live in poverty rather than to be oppressed by a, 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 a beast and cruel slave master. So were the people in Angola in Africa. So were the people in Ghana. Twenty-eight. In Deuteronomy twenty-eight. So verse twenty-eight. The and all of these other African nations who, who gained their independence by beating this cracker and not being scared. Wait, you're not bro, willing, bro, bro. If hold you're on, not hold willing. On. To kill this motherfucker. Do you do you understand? You cannot hold on, hold on, hold on. Sit here and tell me they, they that did you not, will be independent. Look, look, look. They did the not kill them. And the do y'all understand the Haitian nation. history? Because Haiti, if if Haiti is paying taxes, bitch talk. if you a if, motherfucking look, bitch, if Haiti is paying taxes to, go to the people in which the they cracker, they beat in war, war, who is the real boss at that time? How are you, how are, you are they paying their slave masters? How are they paying their slave masters even to this day? I ain't, I ain't from how? The, I'm not from a little Bible. I'm how? not from a little Quran. I'm not gonna let nothing. How, look, 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 you you did not answer my question. With my people. Because my Haiti is one of world. the poorest countries on the Western Hemisphere. With you, one of the you, poorest countries with you, with you. because of the uh, uprising and the rebel. So Don't give me tell what you me got. Nothing bro. About that. If you ain't willing to go to war like the Haitians, no, no, no. give me um, second Ezra really quick. You second Ezra six and nine. Shit. Because this brother is talking about uh, having uh, arms against uh, the oppressor. I said, Let's see. get your power up so that you Let's can. See. 
Because we already know what happened to Haiti. Hey. Haiti is poor. Hey, ain't no room for no Haiti business. is poor. You gotta be we. willing to face. Uh, six, you gotta be willing to face. Second Ezra yeah. 6. Starvation. Hold on, where's the Messiah 6? The price of freedom is dead. The price of freedom is dead. The price of freedom is dead. Honestly, bro, I don't think you know what the price of freedom really is. The price of freedom is dead. That's it. Wait. Where's the Messiah? Look, look, look. The showing your freedom look, look, look. Is showing your bravado doesn't change the state of our people. That's not. We're not out here to show bravado. We're not out here to show numbers of how many brothers I got against you. That, that's not what it's about. It's about showing our brothers and sisters how to return back to the Heavenly Father so we can get on top again. Chapter 6 and verse 2. Bring it out. Give ear, ye that rule the people. So give ear means listen, those that are going to rule the people in the last days. He's talking to us. Read. And glory in the multitude of nations. Read. For power is given you of the Lord. Where is power given from? Given you of the Lord. Power is not given you by a man that does not follow treaties that he signed on the Native Americans. That's my brothers. He didn't, he didn't follow not one treaty. So why in the world would he uh, make a nation that he once owned free from him? That makes no sense. The thing is we're in captivity because of our sins of the forefathers. We are Keep in, reading. We are in captivity. Do we have our own land? We are in Do we have our own land? We were stripped So we in captivity. Land. Read. And sovereignty from the highest who shall try your works and search out your counsel. So the thing is, the Lord is going to try our works, meaning our actions, depending on if we're going to follow God-like laws or if we're going to follow the laws of men. We've been following the laws of men for a long time, over 400 years since we've been in this country. My ancestors, which are the uh, Seminole Indians, we've been over here longer than y'all have. So, I, brother, give me uh, second Ezra. I'm going to show you how we got over here. Second Ezra 14. No, stop, because now you you saying that my fathers, my forefathers was over here. Give me that. Uh, 13 and 40, I'm sorry. 13 and 40. We was here. We was here. Second entrance, chapter 13 and verse 40. This is who was over here first. Read. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, who Solomon Nazar, the king of Assyria, led away captive. Who was Solomon Nazar in history? I don't know. He was the king of Assyria. You just read that. I don't know. So, that's according to the Bible. No, that's history, bro. That's world history. Stop it. Stop. Read. And he carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. So my ancestors had a, a pet with themselves that they was going to follow God's laws in a new land. That's right. Now, we built ships because we was known for building ships. We built ships and, and traveled down the Euphrates River. Then we traveled to the Indian Ocean, all the way down South Africa to North America and South America. Read. Now let's let the Bible uh, speak on that. Read. But they took this counsel among themselves. Read. That they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where another mankind dwelt. What's the name of the further country? Read. That they might keep their statues and they entered into the Euphrates by a narrow passage of the river. Just like I said, that's where my forefathers went. Read. For the Most High then show signs for them. And my forefathers knew how to read the stars. Are you familiar with Harriet Tubman? How did she get to freedom? She looked at the Little Dipper, right? I'm sorry, the Big Dipper. The tip of the Big Dipper points to the Northern Star each time. My forefathers read the stars to get over here. Read. And held still the flood. And that's the that's the um, Indian Ocean is very tumultuous, and even the Bermuda Triangle is very tumultuous. Read till they were passed over, for through that country there was a great way to go. How long? Namely, a year and a half. If you were to ask a sailor or anybody that's in the Navy, they will tell you it'll take a year and a half by boat from that location to get over here. Read. And the same region is called. Aserin. It's called what? Aserin. So ain't no such thing as no barren straits. My forefathers ain't no Asians. We look like black Negro men. That's right. That's my tribes. Uh, uh, Reuben. Right. The, the so-called Seminole Indian. That's how we got over here. So what the brother is showing you, bro, is Haiti is in a poor state. Even though they 
beat the conquist I'm sorry, the uh, conquistadors in the French, who else is against the Haitians? Huh? Who else is against them? You heard me. It, since Haiti beat the uh, the white man, correct? Why is he paying taxes to a man that he beat? That's it's easy. Why? Because right now, the European nations have aligned themselves to make sure, and to make sure, just like they did in 1884, okay. when they came and took and split and divide up Africa amongst themselves, just like they did. They aligned themselves in power so that they can remain in power forever. And until we take up arms, I'm washed in the blood of Denmark. But look, look, you, you just said we, we took up arms, in, but I, I asked you, I ain't asked about the arms that the Haitians took up. They did that because there was different atrocities that was going on. And then they actually planned their um, that uh, attack on Christmas. So, with that said, if a man that you beat gets together with other men of his own kind to control an entire, entire hemisphere, who in the world is giving him that type of power? No, the so-called white man took a western hemisphere of a planet. Who gave him that power? He gave himself that power. No! Of Read it again. In um, he, uh, uh, he Wisdom of Solomon 6. Hey, he fought Read a war. it again. This man fought a war. The guy what what you're thinking is, you're thinking carnally. Somebody no. outside no. of this world had no. to give that man power. Right. Let's see who gave him power. Read. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6 and verse 2. Hello. Give ear, ye that rule the people, and glory in the multitude of nations. For power is given you of the Lord. Of the who? Of the Lord. So the Lord respited time for the so-called, uh, for the Edomites or the so-called Caucasians to rule at this time. What you have to do in this time period is repent, turn back to God, and keep his laws. Doing that alone destroys this economic, uh, social class, what you call it, no. just by keeping God's laws. Uh, no. If you take a look, 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 look. if you keep the Sabbath day, if you don't pay or put any money into the economy for one day, and the blacks, the so-called blacks, let's just start with them. They are so-called 13 percent of the nation right now. So-called 13 percent. Let's say I take five percent of that 13 and have them. Don't don't buy nor sell anything on Saturday. How fast would that bring down this country? And in organization. This is the only way we're gonna organize this under this one book. That's the only way. But you're not letting me give me an opportunity to say something better. Right. It takes organization. It takes units. In what? In order, you just said if we all stop spending our money with these different nations. Then we can break. No, no, with ourselves too on that one day. But this is what I'm saying. In order to accomplish this, it takes organization and it takes unity. The only thing I'm gonna say is I'm willing to unite because of the fact that we black. I don't care what your nationality or your title is. Well, that if that's black, often. Which, and, 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 and because all black, black the brother just explained defines, to you all black nations defines, are not the same. Defines black as color, consciousness, and culture. And no. I also that's no. what black is. Color. Culture and country. And Dr. Khaled Muhammad also added into it that it's also a cosmological connection to the creator. And and as I, you can if, see, if you we're come, not if you the black, same people. If you Africans black, and Israel are not the same. Unite. I'm willing to unite that. with anybody out here. Sephaniah, chapter on your 2 color, and verse and 1. Any, 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 any gather yourselves okay. together. Yay, gather together, O oh, nation not desired. The only nation on this planet that's not desired is the Israelites. You know why? It's not true. Oh, it's not? It's not true. So it's either God is a liar it's not true. or there's a misunderstanding. Where's your homeland? In Jerusalem. That's my homeland. Well what, well, what are you doing to go and take your homeland? Give me, um... Uh, don't uh, give me... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't give me a scripture, brother. Give me Joshua your action plan. Um, uh, don't uh, give me... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't give me a scripture, brother. Give me Joshua your action plan. Don't give me a scripture, brother. Give me Joshua your action plan. Get out. Give me your Give me action Joshua plan. Give me Joshua 1 and 8. No, 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 no. 
If our homeland my, is somewhere, my action plan is what the Bible plan. commands me to do. That's, right. that's my action. Which is the way I'm doing something. Which is the way I'm actually following what the book says. Are you waiting for the? And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get my homeland back. You want your heaven after because I told you. We I told you my homeland I mean, is how long, wait? how long we gotta wait? That's depending on you. How long Read. we gotta wait? Joshua chapter one and verse eight. Wait, you know, it's the, the true prosperity. I don't, don't right want to This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Why do we supposed to meditate in the word of God day and night? Because there's so much evil out here that it tells us to do everything opposite of the Bible. Right. Now, if you say you're going to get a lot of brothers that look the same, go on a suicide mission, by all means, be my guest. No, 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 I'm not no, about to no, do a suicide no, mission no, with the no, war. I know no, 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 that no. I have to war with my God no, to get no, it done. You have Read. to develop that yourself. thou mayest observe no to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Then what? And, and then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. So if you were to apply what you study in the Bible, then your way will be made prosperous. You wouldn't have to die. Because if you read the Bible, or if you even understood the book, you will understand that God fights for his nation. Yeah, if right. we're not in sin. So God didn't, but, but God didn't want to save those Africans that was uh, that was being drugged from their mothers and, their, and, their, and their, those kids, those babies being cut But their mothers, I keep really? telling you God we're not Africans, bro. But, but God didn't want to save those. Why, why do you keep... Did not God destroy the Egyptians? Bro, no, Why do I care about that? No, Why do I care about the Egyptians. Africans if they're not my God, people? God didn't Why? He didn't destroy the Egyptians. So what happened in history with uh, the Egyptians falling down to power? What happened? Why Why are they the dunghill of Africa right now? They were conquered by the Greeks. They were no, 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 no. Before the Greeks. They were Before the, the Greeks, brother. You talking about the land that, that taught Moses? Before the Greeks. That, that's about, now hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me hit you up to history. Moses, Everybody the before the Greeks is the Jesus, brother. The Egypt that brought the, Jesus in, brother. Do you understand what I'm trying to ask? Before the Greeks were the um, did the, uh, did Persian they, and Medes, did Egypt not it was take in the Jesus Babylonians. The but you see, he don't Jesus, know that history because he's not Jesus explaining not that. Taking to each, uh, he's going Jesus. to Greek and Roman. Did Jesus, this, this fight did was Jesus before the Greeks and the Romans. That's right. Did it was before then. If I'm telling him that there was different Jesus. African nations on this planet, correct? And we don't descend from those African nations, but we may have the same skin complexion, but doesn't mean that we descend from those same people. Right. Just like Bob Marley. Bob Marley. His father is a so-called white man. Is he my people? No, he's not. Even though he has the same skin complexion, he's not my people. of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.